Hey all, just wanted to show you the latest uh, Cool Ice Charge Case build for a customer. This particular case is uh, housing a, an eye charger 4010 Duo. Very nice, powerful charger. Um, combined with that, I have two 1200 watt power supplies, giving a total output power of uh, 2400 watts at 25 volts. Uh, it's got the usual um, multiple change in color LEDs all via the remote again as normal which is a little bit of a gimmick but quite nice. This one also features, I'm going to open the lid, also features the Cool Ice PSU controller um, which is a new addition to uh, the Cool Ice family if you like. Basically this little gadget uh, monitors the output voltage of both power supplies and uh, if one should fail inadvertently during a charge process it then switches both off to avoid any possible damage to the charger. Uh, it appears the eye charges are a little bit fragile if this happens so this little unit uh, safeguards against that. So let's turn it on. So we have a switch on the side and the power inlet and I'll see an exhaust fan on this side an inlet fan is on the other. Turn the mains power on that then puts power to the system. Now you can just about see the little status LED on the Cool Ice PSU controller that's flashing red. At the moment, obviously, it's turning us it's off. Uh, if there was a fault, that red light would come on as well to warn us that there was a problem. So, in order to start the power supplies properly, you can just about hear them. They are running in there, but uh, they're not obviously delivering their output yet until we turn them on. So this little momentary push button switches them on. So if I press it, power supply start, and the charger comes on. Now denoted by the pulsing blue LED on the little circuit board that's hidden away under there. Now uh, obviously this deck on this charge case is uh, the dark tinted again. Unfortunately though because I'm trying to take some nice pictures in the conservatory where it's quite light even though when I turn the lights on uh, we're not going to see too much inside but let's turn the lights on. There we go. Obviously I've got them set to white at the moment. We can change them to red, green, blue, yeah, loads of colours. We can even have them flashing. Let's go from flashing. Ooh. Obviously, the power supplies are working away. Giving volts. We've got our outputs there from the charger. Balance lead to the boards will come through that hole there. And we've got our on and off button there, which also has a white ring around it to denote when it's on. I've also on this case the customer requested a 12 volt outlet so I've put a 12 volt outlet and uh, a USB charge port to charge mobile phones, GoPros, whatever. And the 4010 is obviously nicely mounted under the deck with a cutout to allow access to the screen and buttons securely and it's, it's obviously held in there nicely as well so it's not going anywhere. You just leave it all in there. I've also, you'll notice what appears to be some bubbles there, I, I do now start to fit some static cling vinyl to the major areas so the, the idea is when you're putting your batteries on the deck to charge we minimise scratches of the deck to prolong its lifespan. I hope you're enjoying to uh, see these charge cases that I'm building, um, obviously I take orders for these as normal so if you fancy one give me a shout, thanks, bye.